forgot this was a Disney movie, huh? Whoopi Goldberg stars in Sister Act, but do I even need to explain that to you? This is maybe her most popular movie. It's Whoopi Goldberg as a nun. This just has great comedic potential. When it came out, I loved it. The comedy, the music, the story, I just thought it was great. And now looking back as an adult, it's... Uh, good. It's good. I, uh... Wow, I remember this being a lot funnier. There's a lot of times where I find myself not laughing where I remember laughing as a kid, yet there's still something very likable about it. And I think a lot of it is the actresses playing the nuns. Speaking of which, how do they enter the picture? Whoopi Goldberg plays a singer named Dolores Van Cartier. Isn't that a great name? She's going out with a mobster but isn't really aware of that until she witnesses a murder. She runs away and goes to the cops who are looking to put her in witness protection. The mobster though, played by Harvey Keitel, has connections all over the place, so they have to get creative with where they hide her. Wah, wah. Enter Maggie Smith as Mother Superior at a nearby church. She is the funniest thing in this movie. And that's saying a lot because most of the performers in this are very funny. She thinks it's best to disguise Dolores and put her in a nun outfit and have her blend in with the rest of the other nuns. Of course, hilarity ensues, but a lot of that comes from not Whoopi's reactions, but Smith's reactions. The minute she sees her, she wants nothing to do with her, leading to probably my favorite line delivery in the whole film. You have taken a vow of hospitality to all in need. I lied. She just has that great look like, I know I can't get away with this, but let me try anyway because I'm that desperate not to be with this person. And the whole film is filled with little moments like that. The writing, honestly, it's not that great. If you were to read it, you probably wouldn't get that many laughs. Actually, you'd probably say it's a little too kiddish. But the facial expressions, the line delivery, the reactions, all these nuns have distinct personalities and they work wonderfully off each other. Are you always this cheerful? Am I? Apparently they said one of the big secrets was they didn't just cast extras as the nuns in the background, they got actual actresses. They did this not only to give the nuns more personality, but the movie more personality. And it really worked. We didn't have electricity. Cold water, bare feet, sounds wonderful. It was hell on earth, I loved it. The music, honestly, is amazing. I'm not really that much into this kind of Vegas gospel lounge music, but they just make it come alive. The singing, the orchestration, the way it's shot, there is so much energy to this. Again, it's not even like super funny, it's just fun. It's a fun scene to watch. I think the best sum up is these altar boys who are tapping their legs to the music and yeah, that's kind of what I get out of it too. It's just fun to tap your leg and get into it and just really have a good time. <laughs> So yeah, the story, it's cheesy and formulaic. The writing, honestly not that inspired and could be a lot better considering it's Whoopi Goldberg as a nun. You could really go all out with this. Make it a PG-13 or an R to get more laughs. Make it a little more risque. But the personality of the nuns really rubs off on the personality of the movie. As does the music and the energy and I don't know, there's something surprisingly likable about it. It's charming. It's weirdly charming. Even though I didn't get a lot of laughs out of it, I did still get a lot of joy out of it.